Alright guys, c 13 here, uh, got another uh, video uh, for you, uh, I don't know if you guys saw my last upload, I uploaded it twice, um, apparently, it, it's on it's on the uh, Cyclops 18 million candle power spotlight, but apparently, uh, whenever YouTube accepts a uh, quick time format, it doesn't work, because uh, that's what it is, in, and it has audio on my computer where I recorded it, but uh, on YouTube, it doesn't work. So I'm going to just do a brief. Uh, I, I want to, to let you know as the guys about this pro guys know about this product, right? So this is where it is the box, right? Uh, that's the Spanish side. Uh, I guess both sides have Spanish on it. So this is a million candle power, 18 million candle power, as you can see. Pretty bright light. It's rechargeable. It's got lead acid battery in there, about 7 amp hours, 12 volts. But it actually says only it's only two 6 volt batteries at 4 amps. So I have to clear that up, but um, it says at least 20 minutes of continuous use, which if it is the smaller 6 volt batteries is what you get out of here, but I've gotten about 30 minutes, so it's it's pretty good. Um, again, it's made, it's made by Cyclops. Uh, now, when I ordered this light, I completely underestimated the exact size of this light, because the picture on Amazon shows you no dimensions, and there are no dimensions specified. All right. Remember, I, actually you wouldn't remember, because I never made a video on this light. But this is my uh, first really good spotlight from Cyclops. All right, I had gotten one previously from Wagon Tech, and uh, there it, it broke, so it wasn't very reliable. Um, this one is great. Uh, it doesn't have dual settings or anything, but it has one bright 6.5 million candle power setting. Pretty bright, it's a halogen. Um, you can feel the heat on that beam, all right? So it's a nice size light, about 30 to 40 minutes of runtime. That's about this big. You can see in relation to my chest and body how big it is. Let me just get this monster. Remember, this box is huge, right? So it wouldn't be, when I saw the box, I knew it was going to be big because this can fit more than enough of these in there. Look at this thing. It's huge, all right? Ginormous, all right? Now it's got two settings, all right. The switches are found on the left side of the device here, the flashlight. As you can see, there's two switches. These are just standard switches, nothing fancy. Um, this bottom one here. Let me move this camera up here. This bottom one here is uh, right there, right here. This one is the low setting for just general low spotlight usage. It's kind of a floodlight and it uh, provides less power consumption. So if you take a look here, that's what it looks like. It's not that bright, all right. So it's, uh, uh, look at the wall behind me. As you can see, it, yeah, there we go. So it's, it, it decently lights it up, but nothing spectacular. All right. Now, you look at this. That is a monster right there. Holy shit, man. It lights up my entire room. I mean, I'll turn off... Here. Let me turn off all the light on this thing. And then uh, just turn off all the light in this room. All right, we'll get all the light off of here. All right. I'm going to point this at the far wall. This is the low setting, right? Nothing really major. The room doesn't really light up, right? I'm going to point the brighter setting at the far wall. So that's a good 10 feet away from me. And it will light up the entire room. Look at that. The entire room's lit. It's, it's actually probably the most phenomenal flash I've had in a while. I will be getting a HID light soon. But until then, this is this is the monster right here. I mean, I am, whoa, that, that, well, I wouldn't say that, but you will feel the heat off of this thing 10 feet away, all right? This is a monster, and uh, you can see the beam. It's beautiful light. So if you're thinking about getting a really good, bright spotlight, consider, it's under 100 bucks, um, consider getting this one. Um, mainly because it's one of the few that's available for under 100 bucks that is of any good quality. Um, just be sure to understand that the charger that comes with it, let me go get it. 
There's a two charges that come with it. An AC charger and a DC charger. Now, this is the AC charger, and it pumps out 12 volts at 350 amps, milliamps. Um, the uh, it's pretty decent charger, and the thing you have to understand is there's a light right here on the side where the charging port is for AC, as you can see, right, right there. All right. That red light will will not flash when charging, but flash when it's done charging. So it is a solid light when it's charging. So right now I've used it a little bit, so it'll detect that the voltage is down, and you'll see the flash, the, the solid beam. When the light is fully charged, only then will this light flash. Many people had that reverse, so they actually ended up overcharging the flashlight and killing it. And so that's one of the big things that's important to understand about this flashlight. The other thing is that, again, there are two switches on this light. Two switches, all right? Let me see if I can get you closer to that. There's this one and this one. And the bottom one controls, like I said, the lower setting light. And the top one is the Monster 18 million, all right? If, if your light comes, and I recommend, strongly recommend ordering from Amazon, by the way. If your light comes and only one of the switches work, do not give it a bad review. This light gets too many bad reviews for that. You need to immediately call up Amazon and be like, excuse me, but I got a bad product, and I'm going to need you to give me a refund or give me a new one. And they will gladly do that because Amazon has got such good customer service. Both switches should work, all right? And the other thing is, if you you have to understand this this light is big and I mean big I mean you can see how big it is alright it's a good 11 pounds so if you're really weak you might not want to carry this light so I recommend that you oh, I, I want you to under you guys to understand that it's not it's not a small light that it is it's, it's a it's a it's a good size light um, it's it's a pretty large one but if you're okay with a large light then it's a good light now if you can't handle the size then I would strongly recommend you just go to Amazon, search up Cyclops light, spotlight, and then click on the yellow one, which is this. This light's great. It's extremely bright. Um, to the untrained eye, I would say, without looking carefully, these, this one and the 18 million candle power look identical, but upon further examination of brightness, you can actually see that that one is brighter by a lot. It's uh, it's just hard to uh, detect right away. And again, candle power is such a terrible way of measuring light. It's it's it should be. I mean, it, no one should use it anymore. It's it's so inaccurate. I, I lumens are such a better way. I mean, so if you really want a high quality light, you'd pay you know hundred you know, a few hundred dollars to get a good light with like like I'm gonna be getting a uh, HID light. It uses a lithium ion battery and it has four thousand five hundred lumens. Now that will light up the entire sky. And because it's HID, it'll last at least seventy minutes. So I'll be doing a review and unboxing about that one. But yeah, like I said, if you want a, a like a, I wouldn't say it's handheld. Well, it is handheld, all right, and it's easy to hold in the hand. It's like a little lantern light, all right. It's a good size light. If you're looking for a good size light that you can carry in one hand without, uh, you know, ended up feeling like you're doing, you know, bicep curls here, uh, then this light's decent. It is around uh, four to five pounds, but it's a lot lighter and compact. And I'd say. In terms of light brightness to battery, I mean brightness to weight ratio is a little bit better than your Monster 18 million. But if you need a bright source of light, this 18 million, million light outshines the rest. It's 8 million candles, 18 million candles. So, thanks for watching again. Be sure to look out for my next video. Um, and if you guys see one of my videos that has no audio, I didn't think there would be a problem with the audio so I didn't get a chance to look at it after I uploaded it so if there's a problem feel free to send me a message because I, I would hate to have a video up there thinking that you guys you know like hate me or something and aren't watching it but you know, in fact you can't hear anything just let me know okay because I want to give you guys good videos so um, if there's any problems just send me a message put a comment up you know don't be nasty about it but let me know and I will fix it all right so don't forget to rate comment subscribe and um, this has been a review of the Cyclops 18 million candle power Thor X.
whatever uh, halogen spotlight. Thanks for watching, guys.